What's going on everyone? Well, we're on the road, as usual. Uh, we got the trailer. Oh, well, we got my dad's trailer. He's got my trailer right now. He took off to uh, Atlanta to pick up a Mustang he bought. Uh, he'll be back Sunday. Uh, we might do a video on that. Um, but I am currently going. I made a deal with an old friend uh, last week. Um, years ago, I don't know how long it's been, probably maybe 10 or more years, I'm not entirely sure. Um, my dad had the 68 Stepside Chevy pickup truck that he got from a buddy of his, and uh, he did a bunch of work to it, and uh, he ended up, we were doing some work to the house, and he ended up trading the truck to a friend um, in trade for him to build us front porch and you know he's he's talked about that truck ever since you know he'd you know love to have it back and well the guy he traded it to he's still got it he's had it all this time and we saw him at the hardware store maybe a month or so ago and uh, he was talking about he's gonna get rid of some of his projects and you know the yellow Chevy might be one he might get rid of so I got in contact with him and he come over and uh, looked at the trucks I had, seeing if, you know, we could trade anything, you know, make some kind of a deal. And he wanted the, the 93 Chevy with the 6.5 in it. And I was going to get that truck fixed. It needed the head gaskets done. Um, my mechanic quoted me 2500 to do it. And because I guess that's a pretty big job. It was a lot bigger job than what I had thought. And I decided, you know, I, I did not want to put anywhere near that much money into that truck. So, we came up with a deal. I'm trading him the 6.5 for my dad's old yellow Chevy back and a Camaro he's got. So, we're getting two out of the, out of the, from my one. Um, and I kept the big diesel stacks in the bed. I kept those. I put those in another truck. I test drove, there was a 2006 F-350 for sale just down the road uh, with a 6.0 diesel in it. Uh, this lady, you know, asking kind of high for it. She had it posted for nine grand. Um, and it's, you know, it's pretty beat up. It's an old, pretty much an old work truck. It's been worked pretty hard. So I went and test drove it and uh, decided to pass on it. You know, she just wanted too much for it. Um, but anyways, I, you know, I'm looking for a new truck uh, to replace my dually I've got, the Centurion. Um, so we'll see what happens. But anyways, yeah, so we're headed over right now to pick up the yellow Chevy and the Camaro. So, uh, you know, pick back up when we get there. This is the Camaro we're getting. It's an 84 Berlinetta. And they called these cars the Starship Camaro because everything is digital, like push button. It's got digital dash, digital stereo, tape deck. It was kind of, you know, it was pretty futuristic for its time. But that T-tops. Pretty decent shape. Definitely needs a paint job and interior cleaned up. But underneath's not too bad. I checked the uh, center rail here. They always rust. It's, it's clean. This one's real clean. <clears throat> Um, I probably won't keep this, honestly. I'll probably just put it right up for sale, because I could use some money. Um, but, we'll see.
Dad's trailer right on the winch. excited to have this truck back after so long. Uh, it's actually still in my dad's name. Uh, it's 2007 on the title. I don't remember how long he had it. It was, they say, I was little. Um, but yeah, probably, probably 10 or 11 years it's been gone. It's coming back home. And uh, I don't plan on letting it go anywhere else anytime soon. Gonna get back home here, so pick back up when we get there. We right, got her home. And we got six five loaded up. We got Camaro over there. We're gonna have to move it out back. Uh, give you a better look here in a minute. And there she goes. Going off to her new home. Hopefully he can uh, do some work to it and it'll be good to go. When I say I wasn't going to put that kind of money into it. Plus it's pretty cool to have this truck back. I'm going to do a walk around here. And it's a 68. Dad originally got it out of a barn. Had done some stuff to it. It had a uh, it had a 283 V8 in it, and uh, stick shift. I think it's actually the transmission's right here. I think it's three or four speed. I don't remember, but that'll go back in there. And then I think my black 71 Chevy is gonna become a parts truck for this one because it's just super rusty, and you know I'd rather rather put this one together. So, I'll make it nice. It's got some Ford seats in it. And the door hand, door button likes to stick. There we go. And then, uh, it's got new rockers in it. And Dad had it. He was going to replace them. He cut this one out and never put it back in. So, we can do that. And it's always had this red fender on it. It'll need a... Need some new wood in the bed too. You got a new grill because when he was pulling it down the road, the brakes went out and he uh, crashed into the back of his buddy's truck. And it uh, crunched the grill in a little bit there. It's not horrible, but you know, say there's no engine in it now. But I think my 355 I got is gonna go in here. And this thing will scream down the road. And uh, go back over and nope. check the Camaro out a little better. So I guess when he got it, it had motor and trains in it, and I'm not sure what happened to him, but the guy he got it from was getting it ready for paint. Done some body work here in a few spots. I mean, overall, it's not terrible shape. I mean, somebody could, you know, put some time and money into it and rebuild it. It'd be nice. Berlinetta's. I don't know if 
I don't know if they're really, the Berlinette is very rare or not, but it's the first one I've had, and I've had a lot of Camaros. But, yeah, needs cleaned up inside. A bunch of parts thrown about, but. So overall, it's not a bad car. It'd be a good project for somebody. Maybe maybe a young kid that wants this first project car would be perfect for him. So, so, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one around or not. I might just put it up for sale and just get rid of it. Put some money in my pocket. But, we'll see. Well, there you have it. We got Dad's old truck back. So, I say I got uh, a lot of plans for it going on in my head right now <laughs> so we're gonna make it pretty cool and then like I say for the, as for the Camaro I don't know it'll either I don't know if that's something I'm gonna want to build or you know just get rid of it and put some money in my pocket um, but anyways yeah that's uh that's gonna be it for this so smash that like button if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and have a good one